I'm Susan Harrow of PRSecrets.com, and we're here at Bay Marin Aikido in Kotati Aikido with Ginny Breland, 5th Level Dawn. And Ginny is going to talk about Aikido advice for women and a few men, and today is Sword Space. So I'll address Sword Space as being the space around your body, around here. And I'll call it Sword Space because it, when we strike a sword, there's an area around here that's um, unimpinged upon. And if you have that unimpinged area in your technique, it becomes much stronger than if you didn't, because then you would be using your biceps instead of your body. And so the, the sword strike is very simple. Comes straight down. And in this area here, this is where we're strongest. Okay, this is where we do all our techniques from. Um, if Pete was here and we were doing a simple ikkyo, I would always have to have room for my sword. So my cut would come here. I would raise here. And, and so without the sword, I'd have my space here. As if I had the sword, I'd raise here. And so the space that we have with our sword here is a very strong space. And I kind of um, liken this space into the space that we have within our social contacts. When we're with people that are just our acquaintances, um, we have a certain distance that we relate with. Um, not family, but just people we work with or people we don't know very well. We will tend to keep them what I call at sword distance, at sword space. This is a safe distance for me. And maybe if they are a little bit congenial, I'll let them in a little closer. And if not, they stay sword space, distance. And so the sword space occurs all around your body in a circle um, and behind you so that you can actually feel when your space is impinged upon from behind without even looking. And um, it's that way in Aikido. It's that way, I think, in day-to-day -day life when you have to deal with people. Um, best not to get too familiar right away, um, get a feel for the circumstance, and then decide whether or not you want your space closed in. So that's sword space for me. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you.